Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, I will be discussing platelet aggregation inhibitors. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts I'll be covering. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on platelet aggregation inhibitors so you can follow along with me. As the name implies, platelet aggregation inhibitors or antiplatelets reduce the formation of blood clots by inhibiting platelet aggregation. So in other words, medications in this drug class prevent platelets from clumping together to form a clot. A key medication that falls within this drug class is clopidogrel, which is brand name Plavix. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember this medication is to look at the first part of the drug name, which looks like clop, and to think of a horse that clops its hoof on platelets to prevent them from aggregating. In terms of indications, platelet aggregation inhibitors are used to prevent a myocardial infarction or heart attack, as well as a stroke in patients with acute coronary syndrome or peripheral vascular disease. In terms of side effects, the key side effect of any blood thinner, whether it's an anticoagulant or antiplatelet, is bleeding. In addition, platelet aggregation inhibitors can cause GI upset and a skin rash. In terms of nursing care, because platelet aggregation inhibitors can cause bleeding, you'll want to take measures to prevent bleeding in your patient and provide important patient teaching as well. These things are super important to know in nursing school, so let's go through them now. Signs of bleeding include bruising, emesis or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, black tarry stools, and hematuria, which is the presence of blood in the urine. As a nurse, you want to avoid vena punctures and injections whenever possible, and when they can't be avoided, you want to use the smallest needle size possible. And then depending on your facility's policy, you will also want to implement fall precautions for your patient because if your patient were to fall while taking an antiplatelet, this can result in very serious bleeding. In terms of patient teaching, you should advise your patient to use a soft bristled toothbrush as opposed to a firmer toothbrush and an electric razor as opposed to a straight razor. You should also make sure your patient understands that they should seek immediate medical attention following any kind of head trauma, because this can result in intracranial bleeding, which can be life-threatening. All right, it's quiz time, and I have three questions for you. Question number one, what is the mode of action of clopidogrel? The answer is it prevents platelet aggregation, which in turn inhibits clot formation. Question number two, which of the following are common side effects of platelet aggregation inhibitors? Select all that apply. A, bleeding. B, gastrointestinal upset. C, thrombocytosis. And D, rash. The answers are A, B, and D. Thrombocytosis is an increase in the number of platelets, and this is not a common side effect of platelet aggregation inhibitors. Question number three, which of the following teaching points should be emphasized when educating a patient who has just been prescribed clopidogrel? Select all that apply. A, fluid intake should be increased during therapy. B, contact your provider if your stools appear black or tarry. C, monitor and record blood pressure daily. D, take measures to prevent falls or other injuries during therapy. The answers are B and D. Black or tarry stools may indicate the presence of internal bleeding. And then fall prevention is important because if the patient were to fall, this can result in serious bleeding. All right. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with study. Threatening bleeding. Forgot my little outro. Stools may indicate the presence of the... I'm gonna try it again. And then fall prevention is definitely, definitely... And then fall, sorry. Being an antiplatelet medication, that wasn't my rationale. Black and or starry tools 
tools, <laughs> stools. I pick and choose the bloopers carefully out of that. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.